Hey everyone, this is Jeff here today and I'm going to show you what I've created to make uh, sieving dirt and rock a little bit easier. I've seen several uh, videos here on YouTube, some really excellent ideas, some tumblers, some uh, motorized sieves, but uh, those are all great. What I've really wanted to do is something that was very efficient and inexpensive. Um, and something that I could use as, a, as an individual instead of having multiple people kind of do this job. I've uh, had sieves where you've just set them all by themselves on some sawhorses. You use your hands to try to move the rocks around. And uh, when that happens, you cut up a bunch of gloves. Uh, it's slow and it usually takes a couple of people to empty the sieve into a wheelbarrow or wherever you're taking it. So what I've come up with here is a wheeled sieve that makes it simple for one person uh, to go about getting the work done. And so from a landscape standpoint, when you have rock, and this has all been kind of cleared out, and you can kind of see where I'm going here, um, you get a lot of uh, dirt impregnated in the rock. Eventually it all becomes nothing but weeds and uh, really um, not very attractive. And it's frankly pretty hard to you know, go through and get it all cleaned out. Hopefully with what I've done here, you'll see that it'll actually work uh, quite a bit uh, more easy for you. So this is a simple sieve. It's two feet by three feet. You can kind of see that I've used a half inch uh, uh, fencing wire uh, as the sieve. I've simply stretched it and uh, just stapled it in place. Some of the others have used the metal strips to hold it more securely. Uh, those strips are, you know, four or five bucks a piece. And uh, it's really not required. Um, this sieve's going to last a long time. It's done a lot of rock for me. And frankly, uh, you know, if you have the money, that's great. But if you don't, uh, you don't really need to do it. Just simple staples and stretching it will be fine. I've put these very inexpensive wheels on uh, the bottom of the sieve so it can roll back and forth. There are a couple of bucks a piece. And then I've created this platform made of uh, two by sixes on the bottom so they can sit on saw horses. The runners where the wheels go back and forth are just simply uh, two by fours. And then you can kind of see if you look down a little bit, I've put in some furring strips on the inside of the two by fours and that's just simply used to keep the wheels in place as you're going back and forth on the runners so it doesn't fall off. Very simple. I've kind of set the wheels on the sieve a little more towards the center so I have a longer uh, run going back and forth without it falling off the edges. And when the uh, sieve is empty, you can just simply uh, tip it with one person, empty it into the wheelbarrow, and then redistribute the rocks wherever you'd like them. And you can kind of see with this setup, it's actually a very, very easy thing to just simply move the rocks back and forth. And the dirt disappears. Pick out a few weeds here and there, but simply uh, dump it out. And uh, you're on your way to the next set of uh, rocks. You can see we've cleared a lot of dirt. That dirt actually winds up being pretty good soil. Um, but overall, a very simple, easy process. Now you can just simply grab it, tip it up, dump it out, and you're set to go. So from that standpoint, that's what I've come up with. A single, one-man, easy sieve. I hope it helps you out. It's certainly done a lot of work for me. And uh, good luck to you. Thanks so much.